Hello survivors and welcome to another Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the information around Leagues Season 18. It has been announced what kind of rewards we can get over the course of the season, what we can aim for when it comes to the weapons if we so wish and that sort of good stuff. That does also mean however if you do wish to pick up anything in the current season store you have very little time to actually get that done. Less than six hours by the time this video is going to be posted. So do get things in here that you wish to get based on the information that is being provided with this season information or just based on the fact that there are some pretty good rewards in here. For instance, you can get a gold mythic character from doing the gold mythic tokens and it wasn't too expensive. You just want to calculate your season tokens right now plus the end of season token rewards and then see where you're going to be off when it comes to the next season of rewards. But we'll check out the information when it comes to League Season 18. And as you can see, it says, League Season 18, a new season is upon us. Our League Season 18 is coming next week. And although it won't bring great changes to the overall structure, we do have new rewards in store for you and some changes to our Arena Season to adapt to our latest update. Arena Season changes. The Arena Season will be getting a facelift to take advantage of our latest 30.0 update and update the reward system to bring it more in line with the Mythic Era. A new schedule will arrive to include all the new Arena modes introduced into the game. Here's a quick example of what you can expect in a Season 18 week. And it seems pretty much the same when it comes to the scoring system. There'll be two Endurance and three Dominations during the week and then the final um, last Champions Arena will be Endurance. Then we can see some of the other newer um, or like the rehashed versions of arenas when it comes to Legendary Arena, Train Specific Arena, Standard Arena, Draft Arena and Roll Specific Arena. This is what you can expect when it comes to the weekly arenas. It does seem however like Trait Mania may be a permanent removal. I don't think this has been confirmed anywhere actually. It, it might actually be confirmed lower in this post. But we do have trait specific arenas now instead of where the trait mania would normally go and trait specific just basically means this particular arena you can only take fast characters you can only take strong characters so on and so forth and as we read on it says each week will bring in new traits and roles into play along with bringing some minor variations to keep things fresh and our players on their toes we're also bringing updated arena awards milestones will receive an overall increase in awarded Arena tickets and veteran rings while improving the other rewards to more fitting for the current era as we'll be bringing in mythic gear and training supplies silver and below or silver mythics for gold and above as rewards. Domination, Endurance and Champions Arena rewards will see an overall boost in the amount of lead tokens and veteran rings awarded to each rank. Additionally the following themes gold and above have had their items reward adjusted to the following. Domination rank rewards, league tokens, champion tickets, veteran rings, silver mythic tokens, machinist files, endurance rank rewards, league tokens, champions tickets, veteran rings, silver mythic tokens, engine grease and blowtorches. And lastly, the champions arena rewards, current items will stay the same with some quantity increases. Now, I personally have noticed that league tokens have been massively down. They used to be rewards in every single tournament base, just in, in milestones, and they're nowhere to be seen now. So it's much harder to get gear and so on through the league system, but fortunately it is much easier to get elsewhere, for instance, the world map. So it isn't terrible, but it just gives you less options to actually spend stuff each week. Now there is some more information when it comes to the new Season 18 rewards, and it says, of course, Season 18 brings a whole new set of rewards to aim for, including a new Paragon mod, and weapons among other choices. Attack stat Paragon mods, as in past seasons, reaching Diamond 5 will award you with this season's Paragon mod. By completing the mission event, you will be awarded with a choice box allowing you to receive a 27% attack mod, which I believe is roughly 2 or 2.3% or maybe 2.5% higher than the base potential, so that obviously it's much stronger than a, a, a maxed out Platinum mod. For the set of your choice so you can choose primarily i would say attack or crit set is a good idea there new league season 18 store the new store includes a new set of weapons along with a wide array of silver choice tokens gold mythic tokens mythic recruit tokens and select recruit tokens we've also increased the total stock of gold mythic tokens from four to eight this season which should mean you should be able to get two gold mythics instead of one I guess this was done due to the fact that there was a limit break introduced, so we could potentially have that increased each season 
based on more limit broken characters being required. But it is worth noting here that it does mean the value of gold mythic tokens would go down the more characters we would need to fully max a character. So the price should also be adjusted, but I doubt that's going to be the case this time around. Then we can check out the rewards, and the two weapons are going to be John's Assault Rifle and Dante's Bat. These two weapons were actually in the recent Cal event in the Choice Crate, I believe. And these were two of the weapons that a lot of people were cho choosing between. So if you went for one and you didn't go for the other, you could potentially pick up the other in here. Or you could double down. For instance, I know a lot of people went for Dante's Bat. You could get a second one if you so wish. There's also Silver Choice Tokens in here, and you can get four Silver Mythics in here for, for 40,000, 10,000 apiece. Or you can go down the uh, mythic recruit token route and actually just do the pulls off the wheel and it's going to be random that way but you have to got the potential of getting golds but it's going to be a bit more random that way the gold mythic tokens the the price has not been adjusted i do not believe but like i said before and like it was shown in the post you can get enough to do two pulls on that wheel lastly there is the return of the bronze salvage tokens which i think went down with, well with quite a lot of people me personally don't really need them but it was actually pretty decent. Um, you could get 200 bronze salvage tokens for 20k season tokens, which is not too ridiculous, I guess. It really depends on your position with the salvage tokens. My position is not too crazy. So here's just the weapons again. Like I said, they were the ones in the Cal event. They were actually pretty decent. 35% HP, 35% defense, teammate reviving, and then reduced critical hit damage in the four slot. A lot of people were picking up this weapon to put on Connor. I have seen it on Connor quite a bit. And I think that's actually a pretty a good pickup um, because obviously Connor has natural control on his kit, so he doesn't need it on his weapon. So it's actually pretty nice. He reduced damage. Did notice the difference when I was coming up against the character with that. And then the second weapon is the John's Violent Rapid Assault Rifle. This is good on certain characters, particularly characters like Yumiko. I would probably switch out the last one for a 1535 and then just up it to 45% attack. She does not need... Um, any sort of AP bonuses, she's very, very quick on AP. So on an attack team, she's going to be absolutely fine. This is going to be great for certain game modes, but it's going to be good for raids. But potentially in the future, if Faction Assault ever makes a comeback, fingers crossed, you know, we do need to, a bit more very gameplay right now, honestly. But if it does ever make a get comeback, AP down and impair on attack are very powerful when it comes to multi-hit characters, just because you generally only are focusing one boss. So yeah, it's very, very useful indeed. Now, those weapons cost 75000 each, so a little bit cheaper than the most expensive weapons in the past. And they are probably better, honestly. They are a bit better foundation weapons, and I think a lot of people like those weapons from the Cal Crate. And that's why there was a big debate on which ones to pick up. But I still do think they're quite expensive. I still still hope, fingers crossed, that Scopely are planning some sort of leagues restructure in the future. Season 20 is only a, a couple of seasons away, and that'll be just perfect timing. Restructure the entire of leagues of, on season 20. It's the only thing that is ongoing 24-7. Leagues is the only thing that's going on 24-7. It should be a major part of the game, and honestly, it's just not very good. It's not very good. Um, too much of it is based on how you perform in war, not on how much how you perform in everything during the week. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty disappointing overall. And I hope like an economy update comes to it, you know, a bit of a better restructure, like I said. I think maybe it should last more weeks rather than it le lasting so little. And that way um, you'd get more in a season and that way the rewards will refresh, you know, less often. And the rewards then could be slightly better. You know, we could actually maybe even have a potential of a comeback of a character, which would be very interesting. Um, I think the free-to-play don't really have much accessibility to good characters, and I think that free-to-play need uh, more accessibility to good characters. If you think back to previous characters in S-Class era, Ivanova was a really good character, a really good, just really good all-round support character, and there isn't really anything like that. The event characters we've been seeing lately are, well, they're not really much to talk about, unfortunately. But do give me your thoughts on this season of League, season 18. Are you going to be going for those weapons? Are you going to be going for the opposite weapon that you didn't pick up before? Are you going to be doubling down? Did you not get that crate before because you didn't buy the Cal Pass? And now you're going to have the opportunity to actually get it. The world is your oyster when it comes to these weapons. And I'd say it's probably better to pick up those weapons than the weapons this season, especially if you were debating on the two seasons. But that's my thoughts. Do leave me yours in the comments down below. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.